Okay, so we're going to go over again the positioning for the guillotine mode for the hip. So we talked uh, before the break about the Kimura mode for the, the hip and its internal extra rotation. We talked about the heel hook mode for promoting tibial rotation. So now we're dealing with a person who we want to try to open up the hip in this position. So in order to mobilize the front part of the hip capsule, we're going to go with the guillotine mode. So if we take the knee and we take control of the knee by putting it against our chest, if I had a high low table, I'd be a lot higher. Okay. I'm going to take my arms and I'm going to wrap my one arm up around his hip. So now what I've done is I've created a fulcrum with my forearm. So now that I've created that fulcrum, if I push down with my body on his knee, as I'm pulling up with my forearm, then I'm going to effectively pull tension into the medial anterior part of the capsule. Okay? So I'm coming around this way. When I hook up, you can take whatever grip you want. I tend to do this. And then it's all about just leaning. So I'm coming around. You want to come in closer here so you can get that. So I'm here. I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to grip around. So now it's a matter of lifting up as I push down on the knee. Okay? So I'm going like this. So <clears throat> for FR practitioners, you, uh, you would understand how to utilize a pales contraction in the midst of doing this particular mobilization in order to get through the neurological barriers. Um, you would just apply the pales by telling that person to hold strong as you're applying the mold. So once again, control with the body on the knee, wrap arm around so that you create a fulcrum, grip, and now you're leaning down and pulling up. So that's the guillotine mode for the hip.